wonder if you guys have ever heard of the cartoon Popeye the Sailor Man. I doubt it because you're so young and now I'm just making myself sound old. Well, anyway, let me enlighten you. Popeye was a cartoon sailor man who would often need to defend or rescue his missus, Olive, from the evil Blotto. He would struggle to have enough power until he would open up a can of, yes, spinach and down it in massive gulps. Once he had eaten the spinach, his body would grow super strong muscles and he would be able to defeat Blotto and, res and rescue Olive. However, this transformation was always temporary, so every episode he would need to do it again and again and again. Our passage today talks about a different transformation of power that isn't temporary, it lasts forever. And the passage is 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. And it says this. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. So, this verse says that God can give us the gift of his spirit. And by receiving this gift, it can change us in three ways. Number one, it can give us power. Because we know that Jesus has ultimately destroyed death and given us eternal life. Two, it gives us love. Because Jesus suffered on the cross, not because he deserved it. Because he loved us so much, he took our punishment for our sin. Three, it gives us, it gives us self-discipline. Because Jesus never sinned. He lived by the scriptures and teachings of the Bible and he prayed often to his father. So I wonder if you have spotted the link through all of these qualities of having the Spirit. They actually change us from the inside to be more like Jesus, to think, act, react like him. God's gift of the Spirit can transform every weakness, every insecurity into power and courage because of the truth we have in an eternal God. We can be deeply assured that we are loved by a God no matter who we are. His love is unchanging and we can trust that his spirit will impact and change how we live our daily lives, our habits, our behaviours and our attitudes. If we ask the spirit to change our hearts, this transformation will begin to work in our lives. So what? Should this gift of the spirit make us timid then? No. God has offered us a way to be more like Jesus, which is utterly amazing. Okay, so does this mean we will completely stop sinning in this life? No, not yet. For now, there will always be a battle between our sinful heart and the spirit. But this is why we need to take self-discipline seriously. And that's why it's included as a gift from the spirit to help us. And you can check out Romans chapter 6 verses 11 to 14 for more on this. So my question for today is, have you ever thought about this gift of the Spirit? A gift given freely by God to make you more like Jesus. And that's a wrap. You've watched the video, reread the passage and then pray 